going to go into tangent. The point is, how does it take away from anything I'm saying? We have problems in the Trinity, we pointed it out, and you said how, and then I pointed out, and you said how. We have problems in the Bible, you said how, I pointed out, you said how again, and pointed out. Okay, I see. Yeah. What is it that you're really waiting for? Don't forget, you're, you're the one. Do you want me to say? Yes, to say. yes. So some of it is the fruits of Islam, okay. the way that Muhammad behaves, okay. always in contradiction okay. with Good. what he taught. Good, at least you're being honest now. They say fourth right, sorry. So what is it in particular, the fruits of Islam? The fruits of Islam. So for one, you can say open, no one's going to say nothing, God. So for one, he did say, from my understanding, that you shouldn't have more than four wives. And he did have more than four wives, he had 11 wives. Okay. Yeah. And he owned slaves as well. Okay, so let, let's start with the last one you say, then we'll go back to the first one, because the first, last one's easier. The Prophet Muhammad says he owned slaves, right? Was the Prophet Muhammad white or black or was he Arab? Have you ever seen an Arab man in the hottest part of the world? Is he white or black? Yeah, he's Arab and he's dark skin in the light. But when the hadith which many Christians mention say he was a white man in mixed amongst his people. So the Prophet was an Arab who owned slaves. Were these slaves of any particular uh, race or gender or like a place or anything? Or did he have slaves from multiple places and multiple races? Okay, was this abnormal at the time? Or it was normal. It was one second, one second. Did Abraham, was he not, did Abraham uh, marry, uh, he, was his slave girl not given to him in marriage? Yes. Did he as a prophet have a slave? Yes. Now the prophet Muhammad son, son, I'm getting to it. So prophets, yeah exactly. I was just a bit, he freed his slave and in the Quran it talks about the free and the slave. In the hadith of Aisha it says that the Prophet Muhammad he died without dirham or dinar, without the pound or penny, the dime or the dollar, and even he had nothing to his name. So where did these slaves go? He freed every single one of those slaves. Every slave given to Muhammad. As soon as he reached so, uh, his house, he freed them and he gave them the choice to go or stay, and they choose to stay. So the Prophet Muhammad says, I'm own slave, and he freed slaves. Bilal or Radi. It's going off of the Jewish tradition to a certain extent. Yeah. Because it was part of the Jewish tradition to free slaves. Or yeah. To yeah, exactly. And even, for example, the idea of slavery isn't first. 21st century idea of slavery. Moses, when he when he went away from um, his people, uh, this is the Islamic tradition. I think you find it also in the Jewish tradition. He offered himself in service for ten, uh, seven years, to Suhaib salam, which is another proverb. And then Suhaib salam, he married his daughter unto uh, so Suhaib, daughtered his married his daughter. But he himself, he, he was just indentured servitude. So this is different from the 21st century one, but nonetheless, the Prophet Muhammad had slaves. He took them, he paid for them, he freed them, and he died without a single slave. And that comes in the hadith of Aisha. So this is a common Christian so misception. Died, did he die without slaves out of choice? Of course, he freed them. And also, in what we regards to you, you were saying that the Prophet Abraham and the Prophets of old, they also had this. So it's not something that takes away from a man's prophethood either. So give me something. Huh? Yeah, it only comes. Huh? Jesus, well, he told the Well, I, I, I don't know. I have to look into that. But nonetheless, your argument is against the Prophet Muhammad being a prophet. And the argument you launch it is he. I'm, 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 against, I'm, I'm against his fruits. Okay. His fruits uh -huh. match up with his teaching. Okay, okay. So would did you say he, the same thing of Abraham, Sole, Sole, uh, Solomon, and David? Would you say the same of them? No, when they, they had were, multiple they marriages and they. Muhammad was considered the perfect man. Okay, what's the purpose of uh, messengers? Why does God send messengers? Okay, now if if I'm a king and I know I don't want to say this, but <laughs> no, no I say the next guy, yeah, he I know this guy, he's not a good messenger. Does it make me sense in me sending him? And I'm supposed to be perfect. Does it make sense in me sending him? No. And why did you say God or Almighty, the all-knowing, will send someone he knows won't be able to keep his message? In Islam, we say all of the messages were perfect. They may have in their message. They may have made... According to what standard? Ask yourself, are you using 
21st century secular standard. At least practicing what he preached. Okay, so Jesus practiced what he preached. Okay, so you mentioned the slaves. Yeah, what was the other one you mentioned? Slaves and he had 11 wives. Yeah, yeah. so the problem I was with some. He married 11, was it 11 wives or something, tell him. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all the point. Yeah, so Suleiman, understand this. It's in contradiction with his teaching. Okay, yeah. No, no. So so in Sharia, yeah, this, this, what, what, is it, what is for the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? We're very open to this. Is it necessarily for us as well? Allah says in the Quran to uh, Prophet Muhammad, stand the third of the night in prayer. And this was for the Prophet Muhammad Sassam, to the point that Aisha, imagine if this man, you want to know the fruits, Aisha, his wife, she said she found him not in bed one night. She went over to the masjid and found the area wet and found his feet so swollen because he had stood in prayer for so long. And when she says, Ya Muhammad, Ya Rasulullah, you are a man whose past sins have been forgotten as well as your future sins. Why do you then stand for so long? He says, Afala kunu abdan shukura. Should I then not be a grateful slave? So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was given and the whole point of this, me mentioning this is, it, is that he was ordered some things, he was ordered some things that other people weren't ordered. We put these hands up, but this doesn't mean, this is clear, Kumun bin Lain, stand up a portion of the light, uh, night, sir. Why would we follow, why would we follow someone that can't keep to that own rules? It's not his rule. There's no fruits of the faith. Yes. And it's, yes, he stands What do you mean no fruits in the faith? hours yeah. and hours and hours. Yeah. Or what comes of that? Well, yeah, what, what does that change the way that he acts in his life? The Prophet says something, he is... Did change the way in which he acted in his life? Yeah, yeah. So, so for example, the Prophet Muhammad was the most merciful. He forgave people, the Jewish woman who poisoned him. They were asked, the people said, should she be retaliated for trying to kill you? And this poison caused the death of Rasulullah so He said, no. The murderer, the one who tries to murder you, the Prophet in the position of a statesman, he could have had her executed. He said, no, this is a Rahmah. In many other instances, yeah, when the people, yeah, prisoners, this, prisoners, yeah the prisoners, yeah, they were not killed. It was like as in, if one of them, if uh, one of the Mushrikeen, first, uh, if they come in first jirhu, like as in, um, if they come seeking, Translation. If they seek um, refuge with you, Allah says in the Quran, then give them refuge. So the Prophet Muhammad is not just doing wanting killing like he could have. He was a rahmah lil He was a rahmah which was sent to the whole of humanity. He preached one God, like all of the companions. He, say, he says, وَمَا كُنْتُ بِدْعًا مِنَ الرُّسُلَ I am not something new of the messengers. إِنْ أَتَّبِعُوا إِلَّا مَا يُوحَى إِلَيَّ I only relay unto you that which has been revealed unto me. There is nothing that the Prophet Muhammad has done that the other prophets did not do. And this is it. We're stand, our standards are what? 21st century secular Western standards. Where do we get that? No one say that the West is the ultimate authority of what is right or wrong. You know, you know, we can't even tell what is a woman. We don't even know if a man can get pregnant. <laughs> the point is, yeah, everything you judge the Prophet Muhammad Sassam is that you can find in the Old Testament about the prophets. So yes, there are certain things. For example, Suleiman, he had a thousand wives and seven hundred concubines. Do you know that? Do you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Prophet Muhammad no, is a man amongst men. No, what had new two covenant? Wives. Sir? More, more than two wives yeah, Abraham, Abraham had two wives. So the yeah, they all had more wives, 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 and Jesus' wives life they finished. In, so. The concept of wives in, in, uh, with the prophets is probably different. So it is different. So anyway, <laughs> Jesus was a prophet. Muhammad was a prophet. We in Islam believe the Quran came. That the prophet, the angel Jibreel came down with it from Allah to the uh, prophet Muhammad. And the, the Quran is the final testament from the final prophet for the, for the unity of mankind. It was not like the prophets from before, nor the books of before. This is Islam. And you have to ask yourself, Again, what is really stopping you if Allah and His Messenger but call but, you? But, so it's the final testament. It's the all final testament, final yes. Testament. But does it also 
take on board other testimonies? It supersedes them. So all of them has been corrupted from before. All of them, including the Bible. You know the Bible has been changed. You said it's not inherent. You believe in that. So you believe that as the Bible... In, as in the, can, the canonical organization? For example, look, no, 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 no. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm giving you a lot of information, but what's on you is to take this stuff seriously. I don't expect you to convert now, but I expect you on your journey of life to look at this seriously. Be in this dunya as if you are a traveler out Ibn Sabil or Abd al-Sabil, someone who's not going to stay here, you know? So when the Bible, for example, if you, what version, Bible, which version do you follow? Which one do I follow? Which one do I currently read? Yeah. What I currently read is, it's a free basket to, found by, don't know which edition it is. Okay, does it have footnotes? Footnotes. Footnotes, like as in statements at the bottom. Okay, so I, what I want you to do is homework, yeah? Read those footnotes. Most people don't read the footnotes. Read the ending of Mark chapter 16, verse 9. Read that. Mark doesn't finish in chapter 16, verse 9, does it? It goes on to what? I think 20 or 21. And guess why? Because that original, and that it did not... It, it, is that talking about the bit about praying, fasting to cast out demons? Uh, you'll be able to heal the sick with your hands and drink venom from snakes. And all. This is not originally in the Bible. That's a whole chapter, not a part. Words, John 3, 16. For God so loved his world, he sent his only begotten son. Begotten is not originally there. That's words in the Bible that's not originally there. Verses, for example, there are three that bear records in heaven, the Father, Ghost, and the Spirit. Read the through there, John, John 5, 7. When you go home, check the footnote for that. Uh, so we saw seen a word, now we've seen a verse and I've mentioned the chapter John before. 5, 7. John 1, 5, 7, which I just mentioned for they are free. The adulterous woman. So, so if you actually read the footnotes, what is, we don't have the original manuscript. So even though you, this is another issue. You know the original writings of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. I don't want to go back onto Christianity. Because I feel like you've got so much journey to, to journey through, so much homework to look them through. But I don't believe that this is your barrier. So what's stopping you again? Allah, from worshipping only one God. Worshipping the true God, the true God of what Jesus said. The true God, the Father is the true God, the Father is worshiping. worship Him. We're, we're not, we're, we're not throwing Jesus away. We are accepting Jesus. We are, there, there's, there's a whole but chapter. But not that He was the Son. What is really holding you? You're clung. You know when I read church where the fathers works, and I've read a few of them. You know, do you know what they say we don't change these words only because our predecessors said that. It's only they hold words like essence and persons. And you know, I think it was all. Uh, you, uh, who's the one from North Africa? The church father from North Africa, Egypt. I forget his name anyway. It's not coming to me at the moment. But he says we only hold on to these definitions, even though we don't know what they mean, it's because the previous ones held on to or made these definitions. He can't tell me what the difference between essence is not exploration. <laughs> he could he could That's what I'm saying. It's like when you make one lie, you have to cover it with multiple lies. Anyway, so he's this is the truth, you know? Knock and ye shall, no says Jesus, seek and ye shall find. I don't want to keep quoting, quoting, quoting. You know, I feel you've got too much. I have to ask yourself, I'm, I'm not the best. I would like to know. So look, we've seen verses, and you can check it. We mentioned in the Bible, words, verses, chapters. Not originally in there, in the Bible. The Bible, we don't know who wrote it. We don't know why it was even compiled. And we know there's different forms of compilation. We talked about the Trinity as well. We noticed that they're not all equal in the ontology as in the economy. In their flesh, or Jesus' flesh and the thing. And we spoke about the Spirit as well. And we spoke about the Shema and this concept of worshipping only one God. With all your heart, He is a jealous God. You should only worship Him. So again, you asked you about the fruits of the Islam. We are a community of over 2 billion in this world that worship 
and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one true God, and we believe in Jesus, not because the Bible tells us, it's because the Quran tells us. This is Islam. We worship Allah and we refer the prophets in the station that they are supposed to be referred. The Prophet Muhammad says, I mean, he said, do not exonerate me like the Christians exonerated Jesus. Uh, do, do not uh, sorry, venerate me in the way that the Christians have venerated Jesus. The Prophet Muhammad did not ask for more than his own station. He was a man when he died, he had no dirham or no dir, 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 dirham or no dinar. No pound or penny or, or dollar or dime. He did not do this for no reason. He believed in his message. Anyway, so absolutely makes sense. Is there anything? <laughs> Have not the time come for those who believe that their hearts submit to God Almighty. My heart does. Anyway, let's leave the conversation. You take it as it is. It's a sincere journey. We, 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 sorry, so I, I know I can. We say in Islam, yeah, verily my prayer in the salat wa nusuki, verily my life, my life and my prayer, my, my sorry, my life and my sacrifice uh, in the salat. Sorry, my so my prayer and my sacrifice, my left life and my death are only for Allah. Allah, He told us in the Quran, He told all of mankind, wa ma umiru illa liyabudullah. We are not ordered the people have said that they worship Allah mukhlis sincerely and the Prophet Muhammad said that he says in the fijasad verily in the body there is a mudra a portion portion of flesh if that portion sorry my hands are so if that portion of flesh if that portion of flesh is sound then the whole of the body is sound your actions are by your intentions, so make sure your intentions are good and you will see the fruits. Okay, no? Anyway, please check into everything I say. And it's not for me. I will never see you, like I said, I'm going to leave this country soon. I usually do. But I will never see you again. This is for you. I've spent so much time with you again. I still get my ajr, my rewards. And I'm asking you to think about getting ajr rewards as well. You, Allah does not accept. Allah does not accept that shirk is done, that something else aside from Allah is worship, is only Him, not the Son, not the Spirit, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you see it, speak to more Muslim bro. Anyway, Barakallah I pray for your guidance and my guidance, okay? I think you want to calm down, mate. No, I like no. Who me? That's how your, your reputation is going to go down. Okay. You've got the Trinity in Islam, you've got Shaq in Islam. Yeah, you want to speak on camera? You've got go idolatry ahead. in Islam. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I enjoy speaking to you. It's a very different part. Yeah, I know. Well, it's hacking the Trinity, they've got Trinity in Islam. But they'll, yeah, well, no, you just spend hours. Uh, you, uh, okay, is there anything else you want to teach me? Yeah, I'll <laughs> I was joking, it's rhetorical. <laughs> Have you seen it? I was it? rhetorical. Have you seen it? <laughs> no, 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 you don't no, believe in it. No, these are superstitions. No, it's not. Oh, it's superstitious now, is it? Oh, okay. so, is that when you have the cross? Right, so this Malay prayer of protection was used, oh, that's, no, that's it was used in the Friday mosques. It oh, was very, so close to so me. In early so, Islam, sister, 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 sister. in early Islam, it was okay to use idolatry of Muhammad, but it's not okay today. Now you don't believe Thank you it. for teaching me. I appreciate that. And when it was okay Is there anything else the, you want me to tell me? It was okay for the early Muslims to practice idolatry of Muhammad, but Thank not you today. very much. Thank you, sister. What's your okay. name? Is that your best answer, is it? Yeah, that's my best know, answer. No, 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 stop coming with me. He had seven. Okay, okay, thank you. So uh, listen, uh, is, let me leave you to it, yeah? Seal? Speak to you. No, no, he's a good guy. God, God can't come with me. No offense, I don't. No, no, I don't know. I don't know. You don't believe in something that was used to.